see the thing about that. Young and talented. All right, we got a newbie. Not you, we got a newbie. Marco, Marco Turra. He's from Italy and now we're presiding in Mexico, I guess, right? Yeah. Marco Turra. Give it up for Marco, newbie. Come on, show some love. Show some hippie love. Come on. Hi everybody, it's a pleasure to be here in New York. <laughs> I never thought to be here. I am an Italian guy from Dolomite Mountain, north of Italy, but living in Mexico with the native people. We are between the native people, I met, I live with a Mexican uh, Maya guy and Tunco Tom, that is a, a painter, and he's using the painting to keep alive his uh, culture. Not only Maya, but Celta, because yes. it's, different, it's divided in different parts of the Maya culture. And now here, I like to talk about the different value that we give to paper, because I'm here with a plane. <laughs> it's interesting how paper, as this one, artist paper. So it's a print made by the tune as a different value. It's, and it's made by hands. And it's made in a creative way. And it's giving energy. But doesn't work as money. Because I'm trying to use this as money. Because money is a piece of paper. And these things, this reflection, we have to think it very deep. Because we are in Christ, because it's missing money. It's missing paper. Fucking piece of paper. And it's only the one dollar is made by the states. This one is made by Texas states. If you go to the dollar of five, 10, 20, it's by, made by only the Federal Reserve System. So in other words, this is public money because it's the state Texas for this example, and the other is private own money. So in Italy, we are already making other money, people's money. So it's another piece of paper made by the peoples. Because to give value at the money, it's not bank, it's not government, it's us that we give our time, our products, our knowledge, all we think for money, for a bloody piece of paper. So I'm here in New York 10 days. I need a visa to go out every six months in Mexico. I decided to come here to promote the artists. For example, the next tw Saturday, 25th, I'm organizing in Morelos an exhibition of him. We just print a book. 36 pages of book with this painting in Spanish to show how good and great is the artist. But art is a bloody word, it's a commercial word. If you have money, you can get in a gallery, you can get an exposition. If you have a friend, special friends, you can do. So nobody wants to promote a tune because a tune is defending the culture. So when culture is the most important thing, much more than money, because when you are dependent, cultural dependence, you will need their money. Because with television, movies, non music, everything, tele, movies, they create the importance of, of dollar and the culture. Now Italy is almost the same as the United States. Italy is a colony. And Italy now is Union Europea. It's not anymore an independent country. And the Union Europea give the law, make the law, and Italy has to respect. So in other words, we are living in a dictatorship. Europe is a dictatorship. And who is making the law is the bank. Banca Centrale Europea, the Central Bank of Europe, that is making Euro other piece of paper so, if we decide that we can use another piece of paper, we can create other monies. So it's up to us. It's up to us, but that's the most difficult thing because we have a dogma inside. Yes. 
in the dogma. So I'm here in these days and I was able to pay some restaurants to get in the MoMA Museum, in the Metropolitan Museum, using art. I also stay in different houses, in Hermes House, in David House, Nick House, exchanging this. The only thing to give me a favor <coughs> is, for one way, a big favor. But also, this one can grow up and up. If this one was a Picasso, one will have a definitely big value. And then are you think the really people with a lot of piece of paper, dollars, are they really rich? Are really the really rich? It's, what's happening if tomorrow there is a big deval devaluation and it's losing 20% one day, another 20%, another 10%? People think that the future is that they have a safe future if they have a lot of money. They don't think if they have a lot of friends, they can have a good future. Yeah. The, friends, the friendship growing, the money is going down. So that's why the plan that I'm making in Facebook, in my website, in Graphic Amaya website, is I have a plan like I have a dream. <laughs> we have to make something. Yeah. In people I trust. We have to keep trusting each other because the piece of paper we receive it and use it, the dollar, because we trust in this piece of paper. So, from economy to friendship. That's a sentence of a, of a, a writer, Eugene, I don't remember the name, but he wrote him about Ivan Illich, a great priest in the 60s. That was, that they kick out from the church, of course, the Vatican kick out from the church. He was, uh, he has three aphorisms. Schools stupefies, car paralyzed, medicine sickness. So it's against the progress. Progress developed is just an increasing of the dependence of money. And the money is the mercancy, is the product that the bank sells. It's a bloody product. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to use this as money to promote today, let's like, think, that we can make other monies. And the real richness is the products that we have. So, United States as Europe have to start to create products. Because it's not fair that one euro is 17 pesos, one dollar is 12 pesos. This exchange is based in nothing. It's just an agreement between banks. Yes. So, I hope to be here in a good place in, because I feel anarchist. No hierarchy, no, no states, no churches, but no banks. No private banks. Thanks. Thank you. Chulel! And say thanks, grandmother, and uh, to my babies on the way. All right. Thank you so much. Give it up to our fellow 